Just another one down there in the Gulf, Brittany. This is just, I, I, it's becoming commonplace, especially this year. Again, we're in beta. We're past the, 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 nor, the, forget, the name storm. There. I forget who I was talking to yesterday, but I, our date a couple of days ago, and I said, you know, I'm done. I'm done with hurricane season. This season won't go away. Uh, what we know is over the Corpus Christi area, about an inch to two inches of rain has already fallen over the last 20, uh, 12 hours already. Uh, so rain has begun. You can see the kind of disorganized at this point. So it's not a hurricane. It is a tropical storm. There has been weakening over the last couple of hours. So since two o'clock this morning, it had max sustained winds of 60. Those max sustained winds now have weakened to 50 miles per hour. So that is some good news to report. Movement is still west northwest about six to seven miles per hour. Still still a very slow mover. This is showing by about 2 p.m. or so. It'll still be off the coast uh, of near Galveston. Right now it's about 115 miles from Galveston, but max sustained winds by 2 p.m. should still be near 50 miles per hour. So strengthening is not expected at this time. By the time it makes landfall by about maybe 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning early tomorrow, it's going to ride up the coast, bring a lot of rainfall to portions of Galveston up near even Houston by Wednesday and Thursday. By that time, it does become a remnant low and it'll continue to track northeastward, which means we're going to get some of that moisture from it. Then remember Teddy. Remember Teddy? Teddy's still out there. Teddy is still inching closer to Bermuda. Right now it's a category two hurricane on the Saffir Simpson scale with max sustained winds of 105 miles per hour. So Teddy is still churning out there. Here's the track of this. Movement is northward. Uh, it's going to still be a cat two by this afternoon is likely going to be impacting Nova Scotia by Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Notice this cone, it's very tight together, so that tells us the confidence that track very likely will happen. So anytime that cone is really far apart, that means it could wobble east, it could wobble west, but because that cone is so tight, we know that confidence is pretty high. Nova Scotia will be impacted by Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, so I still think we are still far from over from the hurricane season over the Atlantic. Here locally, we're dealing with a different scenario. It is comfortable. It is cool. If you like fall weather, this is for you. Jacket, sunglasses, sweater, sunrise is 728. Uh, so you'll need the sunglasses for this afternoon. But boy, it's looking like a splendid start to the work week. The moisture from beta will be reaching us. I've got the North American model. The Vipercast, the GFS are hinting at some moisture reaching us. It all depends by the time it reaches us how much rain we're actually going to get. So this is the North American model. I can only put these out as far as they go. This is showing by 6 a.m. on a Thursday morning. A couple hundreds of an inch of rainfall for a lot of us. Perhaps those across Alabama by that time getting about three tenths. Uh, but take a look at the North American by 11 p.m. on Thursday. It's showing three tenths out of Chattanooga. Areas that are in the green color there that indicates about a half to an inch of rain. So this is the NAM, which has not actually gone bullish this year. It's usually our bullish one. The GFS is going bullish in the Euro. The, uh, I can't show it on air. We don't have access to that, but the Euro is even going more bullish. So the GFS is saying, hey, by Friday, we're probably going to get an inch to two inches of rainfall for Chattanooga. Blue Ridge Mountains, two to three inches. The Euro is showing this location, getting close to four inches of rain. So that's why I've put an inch to three inches across our southern half, similar to the last scenario. Remember our northern half didn't get much. We had about three tenths at the airport. Our northern half, I'll put about a half to an inch of rain coming our way. So the takeaway is the end of the week. It is going to be wet. Uh, just depends on if you're further in our southern half, you're going to get a decent amount more. Here's our forecast over the next seven days end. Tonight, we're even cooler. We're down to 50. You'll notice as we head into the end of the week, our nighttime lows will start to creep up and take a look at that. We've even got an 80 degree high returning for the end of the week. Uh, coming up in the next half hour, we'll have a closer look at the next couple of days and tonight as more colder temperatures are in store in the upper 40s for some of us. Lori and John, back to you. All right, pull out those coats and sweaters, everyone.